Um, I have been at Worthington Christian almost eight years. It'll be eight years in January. I didn't really want to be a teacher, to be honest. I spent most of my life thinking that I wasn't going to be a teacher. My mom was a teacher. Uh, two of my uncles were teachers. They worked really hard for not very good money. And I saw my mom give her heart out to students and sometimes get it broken. And I thought, why in the world would you want to do that? So I uh, pursued medicine, actually. I was um, health science undergrad and I spent some time with a female physician that basically said if you want to have a family, don't do this. It's, it's too hard. And so I felt like that was the Lord closing a door for me because I knew that family was important to me, but I didn't know where that was going. And so I finished my health science degree and just kind of waited and I prayed and I got married and um, I felt like the Lord kept saying, teach, teach, teach. And I kept saying, no, no, no. And um, finally I couldn't fight it anymore. So I came home one day and told my husband, I think that I might look into education. And he started to chuckle and said, it's about time. And you know, everybody that I talked to said, that's where we thought you should have been all along, but it had to be your decision. My first um, experience as a teacher in a classroom was a substitute teaching first grade and I had two kids throw up before like the first bell rang and I thought, well this is not what I'm going to teach. And so then the next week I was placed in a high school classroom and I fell in love with it. So I knew from that point that that is, although my path was windy, that that's where the Lord was leading me. So I got a phone call one day from Tom Angel that said, I'm the principal at Worthington Christian High School. And I thought, is this a joke? Your last name is Angel and you teach at a Christian school. And uh, he said, this is not a joke. And I'm wondering if you'd like to come in and talk to us about a position starting in January. And it was, it was just like the Lord just kept opening doors from that point. It was not something that I was expecting to get a job in the middle of the year at all. I figured that I would sub for a while. And uh, as soon as I stepped foot in here, I just fell in love with it. And so originally it was, let's do a semester on both of our sides, on the Worthington Christian side and my side and see how this relationship goes. And I knew that I didn't want to be anywhere else. The Forward Together campaign would definitely help in the science department for, for myself and for the other science teachers, especially concerning lab space. Uh, right now we basically use our desks, which are just tables as our lab tables as well. I have a couple sinks that clog almost every time we do a dissection. If we use more than a couple outlets, we blow a fuse. Um, after every lab, we have to clean up completely because the next class coming in has to have class in there and be able to have notebooks out and pencils and papers and things that you don't want dissection materials on. We struggle to do any sort of labs with multiple groups because of blowing fuses and things like that. So I would say the, the space concern, the ventilation, um, having actual lab tables and surfaces to work on would go a long way for what we can do in the sciences. Uh, I would say a lot of my greatest blessings or rewards from teaching here come from encountering students after they've left our school. It seems like on the hard days, the days that I find myself struggling through why do I put so much work into this and my students aren't appreciative and you know kind of getting into that selfish mindset I get a note or a call or an email from a former student that just shows up at the right moment that says hey you have no idea how you shaped my life you know I'm in nursing school because of your anatomy class or I just killed it in a cat dissection because we already did this in your classroom something like that that just reminds me of why I'm here and that the Lord is using me and that sometimes we plant the seeds and we have to wait for them to grow. So definitely the biggest blessings seem to come after the fact. And also now that my daughters are in Worthington Christian schools and knowing that they are being taught by people that love them the way that I love my students.